Hey, welcome back into today's video. We've got, uh, look, it looks like I heard it and you heard it. We all heard it. Holiday classes are now being dubbed offensive. Uh, does this point to an oversensitive society or something much deeper? Ah, uh, listen. So now the left advocates for the abolition of TV special Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Because Rudolph gets bullied, it appears to me that some folks are triggered before they got to the end of the work of fiction. As a result, they miss the whole moral of the story. In summary, as I recall the tale, Rudolph was persecuted and left out because he was different. In a time of crisis, his difference became a great asset and saved the day. Consequently, he was elevated to hero status and accepted by all. He was made fun of for being different. I mean, he had a red glowing nose and there, and then it turns out that that red glowing nose became the asset that did save Christmas. At least that's how I remember it. But now people are saying that it's offensive because it perpetuates violent agendas and it says that it's racist and homophobic. When I first heard this, I'm gonna be honest with you. <sighs> that's that's crazy rudolph is that i've watched it every year but although to be completely honest with you i haven't seen it in a pretty long time so maybe i should maybe i should check it out this originated from the huffington post on twitter the current video has 5.81 million views over 8289 likes that's pretty crazy let's go ahead and see what their issues were hey look at the beast What did he just say? Did he say rainbow puss? Look at the beast. What the f what is a rainbow puss? <laughs> I can't find the definition for rainbow puss, but it looks like uh, it's a cat, especially as a form of address. Uh, you naughty little puss. <laughs> that and then uh, the second definition is a playful girl or young woman. That's crazy. I even looked up into the slang of what. What what could they mean by calling somebody Rainbow Puss? Stop calling me names. This one tweet says a yearly reminder that Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer is parable on racism and homophobia with Santa as a bigoted exploitative prick. Hmm. All right, son, try it on. I don't wanna. Daddy, I don't like it. You'll like it and wear it. Oh, but Daddy, it's not very comfortable. There are more important things than comfort. Self-respect. So that was Rudolph's dad being vulgar and uh, abusive verbally. And uh, telling us that self-respect is the most important thing that there is. Hmm. From now on, gang, we won't let Rudolph join in any reindeer games, right? So, it, basically, I I don't remember watching it, but as I watched this Twitter post, I thought, dang, some of this stuff was... dang. One guy saying in an article, As a wee boy decades ago, I took from the story the lesson that you don't judge others by their immutable characteristics. There would be no lesson at all, or let alone a story, if Rudolph had been allowed to play in reindeer games all along. Hmm. He drives home a good point. Now hear me out. Had Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer never had uh, this abuse, he would have never grown to the great heights of leading Santa's sleigh. And you know what that means? There would have been no Christmas that year. I think that's the takeaway from this whole ordeal. One Twitter user saying, Modern day society can suck it. Take your offended by everything agenda and shove it right up your offended. Wow. The rest of us will continue to enjoy this classic Christmas cartoon, which is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Hmm. They sound like the type of person that would call somebody a rainbow puss. What the, what the fuck is a rainbow puss? Can somebody tell me what a rainbow puss is? But I, I'm just going to say this. It just... <laughs> Does it sound like I want anybody to call me that? I'm just saying. 
Don't get me wrong, I can see where they're coming from because times have changed a great deal and we don't really talk like that in today's times. Uh, they're more worried about if they air this every year and year, year in and year out, is it going to teach children bullying? And after all, in the end game, even though he did save the day, it kind of was like, yeah, uh, you did good by saving Christmas, but you're still a rainbow puss. We got another side that's saying, well, we got to show our kids that, uh, even though they are bullied, they can still come out on top. They can triumph through adversity. So both sides have really good and strong points. And I know that you got some really good points yourself. So let me know below. But my thing is, is I feel like it points to a deeper issue that as time goes, it feels like society is just getting a little bit too, uh, crazy and and dealing i don't what's the word there it seems like they're i don't want to say they're getting too soft or anything like that it's just like people it's like they want to hide the fact that people go through adversity at all anyways people have hard times people have depressions people have anxieties and these adversities that people go through make them who they are make them stronger and to see society trying to want to like hide that and saying no children this doesn't happen i feel like we're gonna have kids uh going to kindergarten and, and then completely confused when somebody starts to bully him because let's be real not since everybody learns at a different pace everybody's got information at a different rate and some people are going to have a, a higher tolerance than others and feelings are going to get hurt disagreements are going to be made especially in elementary school and i think that that's one of the takeaways i got from rudolph the red-nosed reindeer was that it doesn't matter how bright my nose is i can still come out as a world leader or a a, a a Christmas savior. All in all, I feel like I see where this is going and I know what this is really about. It's a conspiracy. And if if we don't change our way soon, that's right. How the Grinch Stole Christmas will be taken down off the airways because let's be real, it's teaching children how to steal. <laughs> but as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guys. I don't know what you think. So why don't you go leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I Greg, oh, he's he was here. Uh, Greg, say hello, Greg. Greg, what's up, dude? Greg's got his winter coat. He's feeling really good today, and you don't know it, but Cinnamon's over here on the sidelines. Say hey. Hey. There she is. There she is. Okay. Um, and did I tell you that Greg has this Christmas sweater? Yes, it's got his face on it. You need to get it. Two more weeks and you'll never be able to get it again so you get it because you're repping if you're not repping your game and how do you become a member of the rest squad all you gotta do is subscribe to notifications turn on be in the comment section every single video because i'm gonna be there greg the cat's gonna be there and the rest of the rest will be as well and i expect to see you there too because this channel loves you that's a wrap let's save christmas what's up greg he put his butthole right on my mouse <laughs>